The goal for this video is to give you a comprehensive overview of Makito, the mocking framework for doing your unit testing. By the end of it, you will know what Makito is, why we need it, and how to use it. When you are building object-oriented applications, you don't just put all your code in one single class. You distribute it across classes which then become objects at runtime. And when you are unit testing these classes, we will not test them end to end. So if class A uses class B, and when you write a unit test, you are going to test class A in isolation. To consider a better example, let's say we are building an online ticket reservation system. This could be movie ticket, rail ticket, air ticket, whatever. At a minimum, we have these two classes in our application. One is the ticket service, which holds all the business logic. And then there is a ticketing DO, DAO, data access object, which knows how to communicate with the database and get the information. Now, if you are writing a unit test for your ticketing service around your business logic, that particular unit test should not make this class call into the ticketing DAO, connect to the database and all that. We need not worry about the database connection and all that because we are only testing this piece here, the ticketing service, and we need to mock this layer. That's where frameworks like Makito come into picture, which allow us to mock objects or classes. Mock objects are nothing but, they act as if they are real objects, but they do what we ask them to do or what we configure them to do in our test cases. The combination of JUnit or any other unit testing tool and mocking frameworks like Makito or JMock or EasyMock is very powerful and very useful in writing good unit tests. So unit test, you should always test them, test a class and the, its methods in isolation if not, it becomes an integration test or a system test. To start mocking, in your unit test class, since I want to mock my tickets DAO here, I'll simply mark the ticket DAO in my unit test using the at mock annotation from Makito. Once I do that, I can now mock all the method calls on this DAO. So I will pass this DAO into this ticket service using a setter method or a constructor depending on how we are making these two depend on each other. And then Makito gives us several static methods which allows us to mock the calls. So in this case, I am saying when, this is Makito's method, dao.getTickets is called, then return the bunch of tickets, which could be an array list or a set, which we prepare in our unit test. So then, from that point in time, when the, our unit test calls the ticket service, it will not hit the real ticketing DAO which goes against the database. It's, it's all mocked out for us. As simple as that. Makito also has several other static methods. One other very useful method is the verify method, which we can use to see if all the expected methods on the next layer object are getting called. So I, here I am verifying if the DAO's get tickets method is called with the required parameters. We can check the parameter types as well, whether this particular get tickets method has been called with all the matching parameters or not. And also you can see how many number of times that particular method is being called. So all these here verify times when all these are static methods in the Makito library. When I do the hands-on presentation, you will see all of them in action. Next. And you can, by default, verify checks for one time whether a method got called once or not, but you can also specify the number of times. So to quickly summarize, mocking frameworks allow you to mock out the various layers or classes and objects in your application so that you can test a particular class as a unit in isolation, which is a real good unit test. Otherwise, it will become a system or integration test. You need not worry about configuring the database, etc. when you do unit tests. There are several mocking frameworks like Makito, JMock, EasyMock. Makito is quite popular and used a lot in the JE industry. To mock using Makito, you simply mark that particular class with at mock annotation and there are a few other steps which I will show you in the next hands-on presentation.